Building out the structure for organizations is crucial to any authentication setup for B2B applications. Luckily in PropelAuth, it's a simple task to create and manage organizations, and I'm here to show you how. Hi there, my name is Brooks Naylor. I'm a developer advocate here at PropelAuth, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to create organizations, how to put users into them, and how to fetch information from them. Let's get started. Let's say, for the sake of example, that I'm rebuilding GitHub. And for all of my authentication needs, I'm going to use Propel Auth. GitHub is able to segment individual users into specific organizations so that only specific users can contribute to each organization's repositories. So what would it look like building out the authentication for GitHub using Propel Auth? There are three different ways that an organization can be created in Propel Auth. First, I can set it up so that my end users can create organizations themselves. Propel Auth provides a configurable UI for your end users to create these organizations. Our front end libraries provide functions for you to redirect your users to the create org page. Second, I could use the Propel Auth dashboard to create organizations for my users. Third, I could use the Propel Auth APIs to create organizations programmatically through my application. Now that organizations can be created, how do I get my users into them? Well, through many of the same ways, actually. Through the hosted organization pages, I've allowed users to send invites to other members of the organization, along with a role. I can also manually add users to organizations through the dashboard, or even add them programmatically through the Propel Auth APIs. Finally, Let's say I want to add the GitHub functionality of, let's say, showing a user how many organizations they're a part of. Well, PropelAuth provides all kinds of API endpoints through our front-end and back-end libraries that allow you to build all kinds of functionality into your applications. We now have actually everything that we need for our GitHub clone when it comes to authentication, but there are plenty of additional options available to me while I'm using PropelAuth. Maybe I'd like to enable SAML single sign-on. Maybe I'd like to set maximum ORD limits for my users. Maybe I'd like to do away with the name organizations entirely and call it teams. All of this and more is available within the Propel Auth organization settings page. With Propel Auth, you have the tools to more easily manage and sort your customers with role-based access control, enterprise sign-on, notifications, custom metadata, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to options we make available to you so that you can build your authentication more easily. Hopefully this has been a helpful look into how you can get started and look forward to more demonstrations like this in the future. Be sure to follow along for more. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at support at